Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. My name is Marnice Nicole and I'm an acrylic painter and I am quickly going to film a art haul because the last package just got in the mail um, and I just got it and it's in my hands and I'm really excited about this because I bought a bunch of things for myself for my birthday. I just turned 29. Um, apologies for the still wet hair. <laughs> Apologies for the lack of normal setup. Um, my camera's actually dead. I thought this package wasn't coming until Monday, um, which is in a couple of days from now, but it came early and so I can film. So let's go ahead and jump right into the art haul. <laughs> Before we do that, I do want to just say that no, you do not need all of these items like as an artist, beginner artist, a uh, mature artist, like artist 20 years <laughs> into your creation period, like you don't need this stuff. I just personally wanted it and I knew I wanted to buy art supplies for myself so I kind of saved up to get a lot of stuff. So you know, don't feel no type of way about it. I would highly recommend most of these items. They're um, mostly rebuys for me and I'll talk about them individually but anyway you didn't want to hear me talk you wanted to see me like share the goods so let me show you what I've got firstly because it's pretty big and I really want to just get it out my lap <laughs> I want to show this Canson loose leaf paper it's mixed media Canson paper if you've ever had a Canson sketch paper from the mixed media blue book this is that paper. Um, it is uh, 160 G and it is 100 sheets of 12 by 18 inch paper. I got this specifically because I'm trying to make my art situation happen easily. I'm not trying to force myself to do any art. I am not trying to make the process complicated. What I have been doing is basically taking a loose leaf paper picking a few colors, one brush, giving myself 15 minutes and just putting an idea out. I'm trying to make it less complicated. I got this pack for maybe $20, if that, on Amazon for this like big pack of 100 sheets, which is amazing. I don't have to be combined to a booklet. I have like a lot of space to get my ideas out. This is an example of one of my sketch pages. And so, yeah, basically that's <laughs> that's what that is. I also got a bound one, but the the paper tears out. It is the oil and acrylic um, paper, and this is 11 by 14. It's only 24 pages. It's a little thicker. It's 290G, um, but I got this as well. I don't paint in oils. I tried them last year. <laughs> I tried them. That's that's all I can say. I had one successful ish painting experience with it but I just wasn't a fan but acrylic is my love language and that's what I'll be using in this these specifically these items right here I didn't purchase myself uh, they were given to me <laughs> um, first is this big thing right here I am currently working in it oh my gosh it's fairly big this was a gift for me I got two large canvases I believe this is 24 by 36 and then I have another one that I'm just not gonna grab because it's huge, which is 36 by 48, which when I do paint it will be the biggest painting I've ever done. Um, and we got these again from Jerry Ramas. It was a gift, so I didn't pay for them personally. Big canvases are expensive. And then with the two canvases, he also got me two colors, which were uh, this fluorescent red color, which I picked out because I absolutely love this color i use it a lot this is maybe my fourth bottle although i do miss the old packaging uh liquitex this is the brand it's a soft body acrylic paint fluorescent red is just this very bright paint that i absolutely cannot get enough of um and i picked this color out and he picked out yellow um this is a very uh bold color choice with it being a cad free yellow deep and he wanted to see what kind of bold artwork you can do with the yellow so i'm gonna take over the challenge and try to do some yellow art <laughs> and then he also finally got me some brushes where is this? He got me these three brushes. These are velvet touch brushes. Um, they are from Princeton. They are synthetic. These are three brushes, two wash brushes, uh, inch and a three-fourth inch. 
and then one angled brush. And that was the last of the Giphy gifts um, for myself. Also from Liquitex, I bought this, which is the Soft Body Acrylic Naphtha Crimson. I've been to like Jerry's five times at this point <laughs> um, and picked up various things. So this came from a second trip along with um, Cat Free Red Light. It actually looks more orangey, like a orangey red or a fire red. Um, and I'm interested because I don't have a color similar to this and I really wanna swatch it. And now I can, cause I've showed you guys, I've been holding myself back, <laughs> but now I can definitely do that. So more brushes that I bought myself. I bought this set of three, it was on sale. Um, and it is the silver, brush limited line it is again synthetic brushes this has a 30 inch or 30 whatever and then a 20 size as well as a smaller 3 eighths of a angle brush and i really wanted this to try because i won remember having a brush like this a long long time ago and i don't know what happened to that brush it kind of just disappeared uh, Mm -hmm. but I did have this um, brush so I know it's good and it's synthetic and I just I needed more brushes again so I picked this up with that being said I also picked up this <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily needed this however it's a art sherper set and it's like her collaboration with the silver um, brush line and I learned to paint watching alongside her videos like she is a real big reason that i'm into art or that i even kind of adapted the art style i had her i watched ginger cook i watched jane um painting with jane jane um and those three ladies just kind of gave me my foundations and my basics and so i saw this i was like i got you girl i'm buying it i don't know what my little contribution will do but i got you so, and then finally, it's just more paint, um, more and more paint. This box is what came just now, which made me want to sit down and paint. I got this first, which is a just tube extractor. So when any paint kind of like gets all the way to the end and you really just don't want to waste it, like all this stuff I bought, I don't want to have to buy it again anytime soon. So it'll just help squeeze the tubes of paint and get them every last drop out so just something good to have in the studio and it was like less than ten dollars so this i ordered online the rest of this paint is basically from either the matisse line which is an australian brand and uh carvin art or charvin art it's been years now but i still don't know how to pronounce it i cannot find where to pronounce it it's a french brand um, which I love and support all things French. Anyway, um, all of these colors, I really grabbed them specifically because they spoke to me personally. The color, it ignited something in me. I was like, oh, I have to have that color. And I am of the strong opinion that while you should be able to physically mix any color, you should know color theory, you should know primaries, and um, you should know how to mix paints, and you should know how to kind of tone and values and and all of that you should know that i also feel as if buying different colors i own like 80 different color shades of pink but you know why i keep buying them because i could mix a color but there's something about having one tube of paint that is in a specific color that i will always have that consistent color from there i can continue to mix if i want to but having that base color uh, and having a color that when I'm setting down to paint, I see it in my drawer and I'm just like gravitated towards grabbing that. And something about that, something worthwhile to me to continue to buy paint. But I've been building a collection and it's built on colors that I just, I, I could mix these colors, but I wanna buy them. So uh, more tubes of paint this way come. I'm gonna start, just break this up by brand. Firstly, I have Carvin Warm Gray. This is a gray I continually repurchase. Uh, this specific shade was on sale. I think it was for $10 for this big tube. This is a tube of what, 160? 150, 150 milliliters. And the current tube that, tube that I have is just 60 milliliters. And these tubes of paint usually go for maybe 14 to 
20-ish dollars. So when I saw it for less than 10, I was like, oh yes, let me get that. And I use it a lot. It's a very specific tone of gray. It's very warm. It's almost a brown gray. And I love to use a warmer color palette most of the time. And I like my shadows to be warm in tone. So I use this quite a bit. And so having this bigger one, I'm gonna keep that handy for a long time. Another rebuy for me, I am halfway done from this previous uh, uh, tube of Carbon Fresh Ochre. This is a shade I often use for um, skin tones, especially to warm up a skin tone without adding a bunch of red. Um, so I use this a lot. I picked up for the first time Julia Pink. This is a color I've wanted to buy for a lot. I always gravitate towards it and I always almost always get it but then I'm like I have a lot of pinks. I don't need it um, but it was my birthday so I was like go for it girl. Go for it. This is Tropical Green. Now I've had a lot of their green, blue and their kind of turquoisey shades. I have not had this one yet but I've always been interested in it because it is a more transparent um, shade than my previous colors I have like I have green of Nice, which is this similarly but like more minty green than this but it's also a very pigmented shade um, and so this is transparent you can tell it's transparency based on the carbon how thickly it shows up here um, and so this will be probably nice to tint with or to glaze with I'm really interested in seeing what I can do Naples Yellow Deep. Now, yes, I do have a CAD free Yellow Deep, but this is Naples Yellow Deep. It's a little transparent, so that means it'll be a nice mixing shade. Although, why is the packaging ripped? That's not cute, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. I got Blue Shadow. This color, I want to swatch it because the packaging looks really black right now, but like, I want to see exactly how blue this is. And anyway, I got the smaller tube of this just in case I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. And then I wouldn't have bought a whole 150 because I'm looking for a specific shade of blue. Um, so anyway, these are the Carbon Arts. And then finally, I have the Matisse paint, which Matisse, ah, I love them. They're an Australian brand. They have two lines. They have a Flow Paints, which are basically like the soft body. They're very liquidy. I love using them. They mix so well with like heavy bodies and they tint it so nice. They have such interesting color choices that seem totally original to their brand. For example, this green gray. Again, I use a lot of gray. This green gray is something I've never seen in an offering before. And if you know of brands that have kind of these off colors, these weirdly, like a purple gray or something like that, like tell me, cause I want them. Um, and it's kind of like the muted collection that Liquitex offers um, and that it's a muted color, already muted. Like I don't have to gray it down, it comes that way. That's awesome to me. And it's even coming up on camera very gray, but it's very hinted green and I cannot wait to swatch this. And I paint a lot of landscapes and a lot of trees and just green things you can see, like vines and trees all around me. <laughs> and this will give an interesting texture to what I already do. I know, I cannot wait. Like this paint is why I decided to go art shopping as much as I did and why I'm so excited now that I'm finally painting again. Like I'm excited to paint with this color right here. I picked up antique white. This is a white I had before. However, I did pass it along to my grandmother who is also into art. She was looking for a um, kind of just off white, but also like she kept saying like, it's not white, I want like parchment. And so I offered that color to her because she's not as confident um, in color mixing. So yeah, I just, I just gave her the two, but I did want to replace it. So I now have another copy. I have brilliant. Alizarin Crimson. 
it's supposed to be a brighter version of Elizabeth and Chrism. So it's supposed to be bright when it comes out the tube and I'm hoping that's the case. I do have Elizabeth and Crimson um, in a few different forms, but like I was intrigued by, they said it's brilliant. Like, is it very bright? Is it very neon? That's my question. I will be testing that out. I got a Design Magenta. This is a color I had a long time ago when I first started painting. Design Magenta, it's a magenta and I prefer it over the golden magenta that I typically buy these last few years so I just wanted to get that back in the building the last color is the Australian salmon gum anyway I've owned this before but it was literally almost out I'm like at the last sip of it so I'm just rebuying it again but it's an interesting color it's just so nice and it's like uh, I don't think I could mix this like I probably could with enough practice definitely some pinks oranges and a little hint of yellow would get this out but like to have this pre-mix and I do use it a lot I use it in skin tones I use it for makeup on the face like blushes and such I use it to warm up scenes and sometimes I'll use it for like my landscapes for the flowers or just the highlights or yada 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 but anyway that is that this is the last piece of paint I bought it was a lot of stuff some of it again got from my boyfriend as a gift some of it the rest of it I got as either replacement pieces or just because I was interested in them and I think that's almost 20 tubes of paint but I'm not mad about it and I don't expect to buy more art supplies for the rest of the year unless it is to replace it I'm kind of putting myself on a no buy art supply haul <laughs> kick um, but mostly because I shouldn't need more paint I should only have to buy replacements of things that are finished so that's everything I'm definitely filmed way longer than I should have and I'm about to leave for my weekend trip so I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching again my name is Marnice Nicole all right bye